Thousands of truckers about to put the brakes on Washington, D.C. They're ticked at the president, but is this the best way to get their message across? The guy behind the protest is going to roll on in as we roll on live from New York City. All right, there's another shutdown looming in Washington, D.C., but this one has nothing to do with lawmakers. It has to do with thousands of truckers who say they are fed up with the government and they are planning to hold a peaceful protest in our nation's capital on Friday. Joining us right now on Thursday from Virginia Beach is trucker Ernest Lee. He's coordinating, he's one of the coordinators of this weekend's Ride for the Constitution. Well, Ernest, what is causing truckers across America to act? What's causing truckers to act, Brian, is the fact we are absolutely sick and tired of our oversized government. Uh, to stay in touch with everything that the truckers have going on, you can go to rideforthaconstitution.org all weekend long. We will have live feeds on this website straight from the protest itself. We are sick and tired of the government, the president, the entire federal government. Yes, sir. So are you going to roll through the Capitol? Are you stopping traffic? Or is the goal just to show your strength in numbers, roll through the Capitol, stay around a while? What's the format? Uh, the format, we're, we're going to be in legal places where the trucks are legal. This is a peaceful demonstration. It's not just for D.C. We're looking to have an Egyptian moment here. We've got the possibility, instead of putting 30 or 35 million people being a part of this protest, it's going to happen nationwide. We're looking for over 100 million people to get out, get in the public, in the world's largest traffic jam to send the message, we've had enough. Right, and, but, you know, s small projects. Go right. ahead, sir. All right, Ernest. Uh, how has this administration affected the trucking industry and truckers like yourself? Uh, this administration, it seems like every administration that comes in, wants to add new regulations or their own little twist to uh, different things with, with truck driving. During this administration, we've had the introduction of something called uh, CSA 2010, which is a, a series of regulations, uh, extremely long. It was just like he wanted to, to uh, President Obama wanted to pick on us. Uh, and they could actually cost us our license for some very, very small violations. Uh, it, do, do you know, sir, if we are involved in an accident, one that's not even our fault, right. it gets charged against us on our CDLs, we could even be sitting still. That's right. happened, and, and, and to me, that's totally ridiculous. Right. We've gotten, you know, getting tickets or losing our license just for being parked and someone running into us. So do you just think... totally ridiculous. What about some of the resentment you might get, Ernest, from people who might agree with you on issues but just want to be able to get to work and move through the Capitol? Maybe this isn't the best way for... Uh, uh, to, uh, to show your unhappiness? Well, we picked the weekend uh, to do this. Uh, well, you, you know what? I, I really hate that, uh, and I really hate that people are just trying to get to work. Well, leave early. Uh, there will be one lane open that we will leave, obviously, for traffic emergency vehicles. We will be doing the speed limit. We will stay within the law. We will be being safe. There's just going to be a whole mm. lot of us there because we are disgusted. We've had enough. Right. And I think most of America has had enough. Now, Ernest, if a little kid looks at you and asks you to, uh, to do the horn, will you do it? Well, we've got a special thing going on at 10.04 or 10.04 every day, twice a day, uh, morning and evening, every truck all across the nation. 10.04. We're right. going to blow our horns. I thought and so. And yes, you will. No matter how big or gnarly a truck driver is, a little kid asks you to blow your horn, you're going to do it. Uh, exactly. All right. And you're not big or gnarly. Uh, Ernestly, thanks so much and appreciate your patriotism. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, sir. All right.